My name is Brian Cronin. I'm 14 years old, and here's a photo of me when I was um, when I was two years old in two, 2002. The reason why I have I brought this photo in because it's a memory of me when I was younger at my nana and granda's house, and it's important to me because I like keeping memories that are important to me, like this one, because it makes me happy to think about this. My name is Chloe. I put the needle. I put the needle. Oh, my name is Adrian. 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 I mean, there's a lot of something hip hop. I'm doing dancing, dancing with my every dance club. I drove out the new paper. I can't call my friend in my class. My class. I then talk the class. I read fans to play in the dead club class. The person from the the top new paper came to the top class. We are a class in Limerick, New Paper. I was so, so happy to be in my style in New Paper. And My name is Erin. I am 18. I picked ISL to talk about today. because it is my first language. My mother has learnt ISL, sign language, for three years now. She has been learning at home Someone has come in to teach her. And teach my family. And teach me with my family. In mainstream school, I couldn't communicate. And it was very frustrating. I couldn't communicate with anyone. And now ISL has made me feel it's much easier to communicate. My name is Jack. Thirteen. I'm 
huge that song Stephen's favorite song is that favorite song I my dad and I love this listen to this song my dad plays this song with a car I love to play this guitar Okay, uh, so that song I always uh, happy <laughs> Boost Boot Beasting is my favorite song. We had the Sunday day. We did a way of having fun day in the clouds today. A way of fun day. We have you with a clear day in the clouds today. A way of fun day. Hello. My name is Maria Lee. I work here in the school as an SNA. Minicom. It's made in 1963 and it's used for deaf people. So I would be typing on the Minicom and you'd have another person in the other line who would be able to connect their phone to the Minicom first and the signal is sent from my Minicom to theirs and the message is sent to them and then they can type back and that way we can communicate via Minicoms. It was very popular in the 1980s and we used, up until now we had one here but now really they're not very popular at all because now we text each other. Deaf people would use texting as a way of communication. In places like IDS, in Deaf Here, they may still have a minicom, but now really deaf community don't use minicoms anymore, which is very sad. But My name is Patrick uh, Collins um, and I'm age 16. I have picked this to come dine with me because I love cooking and food. And uh, there were two ladies that came into Roisin's class into our school to do some cooking with me. The ladies' names were Kathleen and Jane. I was very, very happy to see the two ladies that came in. And I made um, chicken wings with blue cheese. And uh, for main course, made chicken and mushroom pie. And for dessert, I made apple crumble. And it was wonderful, it was beautiful. And Kathleen got 32 out of 40. Jane got 34 out of 40 and I got 36 
out of 40. <laughs> It was important to make the food and to do that because I want to be a chef. Uh -huh. And I often watch TV and watch the cookery program. And this was a great experience for me. And And sometimes I watch things on the telly and watch films about cooking. And then I try and make the food and do the cooking myself. And it's great. My name is Roisin Mercier and I'm a teacher in the School for the Deaf. Uh, for this project I have chosen a letter from my great-great-grandmother to my grandfather who I've never met. Um, I was doing some research in genealogy and I found some information from relatives. He was a member of the old IRA and fought in the Civil War in Ireland, but he was imprisoned for eight months and did eight months hard labour. The letter was from my great-great-grandmother. When she was dying, she was very, very weak. And she says in the letter that it's going to be the last time that she sees him. And she's saying goodbye, so it's quite moving to read. The next piece I have chosen is <clears throat> a telegram. And it's a telegram from, I think it's 1893. It's a telegram from, uh, Great granduncle's wife in America. He has returned from Boston in the hope of finding work and left his child and wife in Boston. But on his return, he became ill with pneumonia and she is concerned and she writes a telegram saying, dead or alive, please answer. And she's paid for a three word reply. And my family have kept this over the years but nobody knows whatever happened to the wife and his child because the child would have only been about three at the time. So they would have been some of the things that I, I have kept from my research. Hi, I'm Sinead and I'm a teacher in the School for the Deaf. Um, my dad was a radio officer on a ship in the 70s and he used things like these. This is um, a Morse key which transmits Morse code. Um, Morse code is a kind of a system of long and short beeps or clicks or it can be dots and dashes or flashes of light. It's all about the duration and it's the code is then received, it's passed through radio signal and received by the uh, uh, receiver machine, which is these plug into, and um, and the person listening can then interpret the code and get the message. <laughs> My name is Valentina. My name is Valentina and I am 14 years old. Sometimes I talk to my aunt and my uncle in Nigeria. I can't get to Africa because it's too far. But I talk to my uncle on Skype. It's really, really important to me. I Skype to my family all around the world.
There's two inventors that I know. Their names are Nicholas Zenstrom and Janus Free. Oh. From Denmark oh. and from Sweden. Sometimes my aunt calls me princess and I talk to her on Skype. I have an uncle in Sweden and an aunt from Nigeria. <sighs> and her, ni her name is Sandra. My aunt's name is Sandra. And my uncle's name is John. Sometimes I communicate by writing and by Skype. We would write things on Skype and show them, hold them up and show them. And I can see everybody's faces and everybody's expressions and their gestures on Skype, which is very important to me. Sometimes my aunt and my uncle understand a little bit of my sign and some gesture as well. Thank you. Uh, well. My name is Alex. Well. You can. Hey. Mm. I don't want to talk about this one so much. This is the old Xbox from four years ago. because there's a new one now which is much nicer and was bought recently and that's my favourite one but there is a different one where you can sit and um, play it's much smaller that's my favourite game is Titan Falls Titan Fall thank you very much My name is Eilish. I am 14. I picked the film Frozen. There is one boy, two girls, one snowman and one reindeer in the story there is one girl that has magic. She makes everything frozen. I like watching this film at home with my mummy. I like the film because it is funny and I really like the music. My favourite song is Let It Go.